Welcome to another episode of Riffing It Right with Dave and Wally. Dave and Wally. Obviously, you're Dave and I must be Wally. Obviously. Yeah. So today we are, we have some Fleeceback TPO. Mm -hmm. What do we have right here? This is a modified bitumen. Modified bitumen with heat welded laps. Yes, it is. So it's kind of a hybrid system. Mm -hmm. We've got a modified system with heat welded laps. So we're going to put a, a TPO fully adhered on top of that with low rise foam with also heat welded laps. Correct. So it's kind of a more robust system, right? We have oh, all, the, all the yep. plies of, yep. of a modified roof. So again, all kinds of options to install this. Mm -hmm. So Dave, in other videos, we've talked about ways to do low rise with fleece back, mm -hmm. right? One video we actually showed again for certain situations in warmer weather. Right. Maybe you're putting a low rise foam down, but you can kick it out long ways, pull the mm -hmm. sheet back, and run it in that way, right? So yeah. here we're going to do a little something different. There's all kinds of options laid right. out. There's no right, right or wrong one. Something right. to bear in mind is the weather you got to deal with, right? Exactly. So what do we got going on here? We've got butterfly. We're going to come in and we're going to put on this mod bit. We're going to spray our adhesive on here. We're going to take this one over first because that is a weld line that goes over second. Yeah. Make sure you do that right to correct it first, right? Yeah. We don't want any low rise foam in that salvage. No. Because now you're. Now you're cleaning. Yeah. So basically, you can kick out 200 foot or 100 footer butterfly, under 100 foot butterfly. You've got a 100 foot run, and you're doing low rise foam. Right. For more information, stay tuned to other videos at gaf.com slash riffing it right. 